could no longer face. All he wanted was to get some sleep. It turned out to be a wish that took his life. The Los Angeles County Coroner's Office said that when Michael Jackson died, the five foot nine singer weighed 136 pounds. He had bed sores on his body. It's believed the bed sores first developed in the months following his acquittal in the 2005 molestation trial. He deteriorated physically during that trial. He was having trouble sleeping. He was, he was having trouble eating. He would call me in the middle of the morning, 3, 4 o'clock, and he would be crying about what's going to happen to his children. He was terrified about uh, the effect on his children of all of us. And even though he was always lucid and articulate uh, with me, always cooperative, uh, you could see physically that he was going downhill. That had to have crushed Michael Jackson. Um, I've put myself in his shoes. Um, five and a half months of your life just being exploited like that and day after day going into uh, the courtroom and um, all these things that would, you know, uh, be said about him, that has to take away your spirit, you know, that has to, I know it took me a long time to recuperate and it wasn't me up there, you know, so that had to have really taken its toll on him, his health, his, his whole uh, way of thinking. Michael Jackson did so much for the world, you know, as far as, you know, inspiring them and doing good. I don't understand how people can dislike him. I don't get it. Just because of accusations and false, you know, thoughts of, of how he is because he has money or because, you know, they think he's weird. So what, you know? We're all weird in our own way. Jackson knew that his final tour would be difficult. But more than anything else, he wanted to show his children what it was like to watch the King of Pop on the stage. He liked that he was Michael Jackson. His children never got that chance. When those kids came out at the memorial, they were normal kids. So Michael was a good father to those kids. I don't think he would have left those kids. He was not crazy. He was never crazy. And Michael believed that helping people was his job. He, he honestly believed that. Michael Jackson did more good for more people around the globe than any entertainer that I can think of of recent times. At the end of the day, that trial had an effect on Michael Jackson that was so profound. He never came back. This is it. I mean, this is really it.